Devontae Adams surprised a lot of people when he left Aaron Rodgers to go to the Raiders. And reportedly, the Packers offered him more money. That's weird. Like, I like Derek Carr a lot, but the Packers are a much better run team than the Raiders. And Aaron's the better quarterback than Derek Carr. It's a much easier division. And they offered him more money. That is a lot of boxes to check. Why? I mean, it can't just be family, right? Like, why why would you? Oh, we found out on a podcast. This is precisely why you don't talk about retirement. If I started talking about retirement every day, everybody on the staff would be like, "Woo, get the resume ready. (laughs) We may be moving. Or at least a lot of people would. Aaron Rodgers is so into Aaron, he feels this need to tell us everything about Aaron. Some stuff, keep to yourself. Keep it off Instagram. Keep it off Twitter. It's okay. You don't have to put every lunch on Twitter. Tom Brady, after losing, leaving New England, he went on Howard Stern. And he kind of did his, I'm going to tell you everything interview after he left New England. And he said then, I made the decision a year ago. But none of us knew because Tom kept it to himself which was smart because if Brady would have said it out there, it would have been a distraction the entire year, every press conference, every story, every game. Tom kept it to himself because Tom is all about whatever it takes to win, including strategy. Tom, like LeBron James, is calculated. Yeah, he's measured. Even though he's got an ego, he doesn't appear self-absorbed. Aaron doesn't care enough, maybe, about the team. He's just got to tell you what Aaron's thinking and how he's feeling and what Aaron's going to do. You know what? Keep it to yourself. Brady understands his words have impact. Aaron's too smart not to know his words have impact. He just doesn't care. And it's like Brady's about winning. And winning is about strategy. LeBron's always been about that. Russell Wilson... Knew he was leaving Seattle a year before he left Seattle. But he kept saying, go Hawks. It's great. Go Hawks. Love the Hawks. He had told Seattle, I want to go to Denver. So he weakened the Seahawks position. But he didn't make it public. Right? Like Russell kept it to Russell. LeBron keeps his moves. When I was on this show and I said, I think LeBron could be a Laker, people were like, they're terrible. LeBron kept it to himself. And that's what you do. Aaron's too smart not to know it hurts him. He just doesn't care. It's about Aaron, not about strategy or winning. And so in the end, you lost arguably the best wide receiver in the NFL because you kept saying, man, maybe I'll play, you know, one or two years and maybe I'll just, just maybe also you'll play three. (laughs) Devontae Adams and you would be great for three. Would Devontae Adams really hold it against you? If you had three more years, you have a three-year contract, and you did the three more years, and then you left and left him hanging for a year. Devontae would have been paid, would have been great, would have been a star, locked for a Hall of Famer. Even Aaron's like, I may retire in one, maybe two, maybe three. Don't talk about it. It's called strategy. Most companies don't make it public. Stars, Aaron's now a company. Brady's a company. LeBron's worth a billion dollars. He's a company. These guys are industries. They're iconic. They've got their own brands. Keep it to yourself. Tua says that uh, uh, Tua, Tyreek Hill's a new receiver for Tua. He says, you know, he's way more accurate than Patrick Mahomes. My takeaway is, he better be because he's nothing else. (laughs) Okay, arm strength, playmaking, size, leadership in crisis, the ability to come from behind, Mahomes crushes Tua. It's similar to saying, well, Jordan Poole shoots free throws way better than Giannis. He better, because that's all he does better than Giannis. Uh, And it's not like Mahomes is inaccurate. He completes 66% of his throws. In fact, if you look at two of the most accurate quarterbacks in the league, Drew Brees and Kirk Cousins, my knock on both is, I wish they were less accurate and took more shots down the field. I do not want you to complete 70% of your throws. I don't. Because then you're making safe throws, system throws, throws too often in the flat. Mahomes is perfect. He completes, like Matt Stafford, 63.5%. Go look at Joe Burrow. Go look at the Burrows. Big shots downfield. Tua is going to end up being more accurate next year than 
Matt Stafford and Joe Burrow and Mahomes. And that's the problem. I don't want Kirk Cousins. I don't want safe throws. Drew Brees is great, but at the end of his career, the knock on the Saints, they didn't get a lot of cheap touchdowns. You can't. This is why the Rams are really good. You get all the brilliance. They can run the ball. They can give but they can go over the top. That's how they beat Tampa. Big throw over the top. And so, yeah, Tua is more accurate. And at the end of the year, his statistics, even his 20-yard passes downfield, the percentage of completion is higher because he throws fewer. I don't get paralyzed by interceptions, especially depending on where they are. You don't want to throw them deep in your territory, and you don't want to throw them at the four-yard line in the red zone. A lot of them, though, are punts. Andrew Luck threw a lot of picks. I went and did research for my first book. 18 out of 30 or thereabouts, I forget the numbers, were punts. I'll take a little bit of that. Take big swings. Baseball's finally figured it out. Hit home runs. Don't be paralyzed by strikeouts. Get the ball in the air. Hit it over the fence. Yankees, best team in baseball. Strike out and hit a lot of home runs. That's the answer. Same with quarterbacks. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.